Shall I go and get a cat? Yeah, get a cat. <laughs> Hope you didn't just click for the cats. <laughs> oh, They're my cats. They're mine. They're mine. Taking one home with This me. is Norbert. This is Noodle. Meet the children. I uh, was just talking about our top five favourite books today. Well, I've got a top five. Daisy's really indecisive. Yeah. Oh, I can't say that. We're going to get, like, demonetised. Um, Daisy's really de indecisive. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Miss Third Person. Thanks. Right, so, first book of the day. <laughs> this is in no particular order, by the way. I can't pick favourites. This is uh, Bear Town by Frederick Backman. I'm covering and I the cat's face. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Look, Bear Town by Frederick Backman. Yes. This, I bet you'd love this book. You would love this book so much. Um, this one's been quite popular on- Ow! What did she do? She's clawing my knee. <laughs> Oh, oh, stop. Bye, oh, noodle. Goodbye. We've <laughs> this, still got normal. This one's been quite popular on TikTok recently. I've seen like loads of other booktubers recommending it, but like for a good reason. This one, it's more just general literary fiction, um, but it's kind of got like a thrillery aspect to it. Like the first page, it's literally like you learn about a murder. So it's got like that going for it. But like you get so connected to the characters so fast. Like everyone. No, spoilers. no, no spoilers, obviously. But everyone in here feels like a real person. It's like I'm reading about a real town. Um, but it's just, it's so beautifully written as well. It's in translation from Swedish, but like, you can't tell. Like, I would just it's, recommend this book to like, literally everyone. Like, my mom, my dad, my friends. Is that the guy that wrote, um, a, a man, a called, man called, called, yeah. yeah. Like, everyone should What's just... it about? <laughs> I didn't say that, did I? <laughs> but, um, it's about this small town in Sweden, and it kind of focuses around, like, um, their ice hockey team. And it's the first year in, like, ages. Oh, it's giving Icebreaker. No, it's not. <laughs> it's not like that at all. Right. Ice hockey theme, not like Icebreaker. Um, oh, don't go, like, Bob! No! <laughs> You've got to stay with us. But it's... I knew nothing about ice hockey and I still really enjoyed this, but it's like the first time that their junior team can win like the championship in like 20 years or whatever. And if they do, they'll build like this new ice hockey college like in the town. It'll basically save the town's economy and like improve everyone's lives. But they've got like a rivalry thing going on and there's like drama in the families and between the families and like... It's it's very good. I would recommend it to literally everyone, as I said. I'm second door. I can I just clarify before I start. Sorry, there's fluff literally everywhere. <laughs> um, complain. Okay, so I read this before it got popular on book talk. Wow. I mean I read it <sighs> such an OG. I think I read it like four years yeah, ago, maybe eight, five years yeah. ago, but I can't actually remember what happens. <laughs> All I know I remember it was good. I remember really enjoying it. Yeah, to be it. fair, I think I've read it twice, but that was a while ago too, but all I remember is the plot is amazing, the um, twists are really good, the characters are quite good, Pip and Ravi are so cute together, like they're just so sweet and genuine, and yeah, I think most people, to be honest, it's kind of basic isn't it, most people have probably yeah. read it, but it's still good. You might need to check the twig, uh, the twig, right, um, just <laughs> check the twig <laughs> one. <laughs> if you're nervous about any, like any, if you're easily triggered by anything at all, like I don't want to give... I guess it kind of Actually, is a spoiler. Yeah, both of the books. But check trigger warnings for this one especially. Because, and this one. Uh, yeah, just in case you think you might need that. But yeah, just stay safe. Guys, this is when books used to be eight pounds. Wait. This shows how long I've had it. This was ten quid. Eight pounds? Ten pounds. Yeah. What is it? Inflation is real. <laughs> no, put it on this side. Sorry. This is the done pile. Oh my god, you're so cute. Right. <gasps> Stop! <laughs> Right, I finished this book literally like a week ago, and I know I'm so late to the trend because I know this was published literally like over 10 years <gasps> ago. Going. No! no! Okay, carry on. <laughs> I know this was published like literally 10 years ago, and I'm really late to the trend. People have been telling me to read this for years, I've had two people recommending me for years, but I like, I feel like I'm being, people think I'm being dramatic when I'm saying this, but like I'm not. This book literally changed my life. I've never read anything like it before. It basically, it follows these two guys, um, they were roommates in college 10 years ago and they're kind of like academic rivals but also friends and basically they did this like massive fucked up experiment that kind of like you can swear now actually it's fine <laughs> i was about to say it's not been long enough it, it, it changed like a lot of things like like shit went down basically um but it flashes back between them 10 years ago at university and then the present where they're like mortal enemies and absolutely hate each other enemies to lovers well not exactly <laughs> There isn't, there isn't, there isn't a kiss in this one. Like not a single kiss, which is like quite disappointing actually. But like, there, there's so many scenes where they could have just added one, but you know they don't. But like you can tell, this right. This book is basically just about two repressed, psychotic homosexuals trying to kill each other. But there's also like superpowers. It's kind of like sci-fi fantasy-ish. Like it deals with kind of the themes of like heroes and villains. But it's like so unique. Like I've, I've genuinely just never read a book like this before. I don't even know how to describe it. Easily find. I read it in. 
It usually takes me around two weeks to finish a book, I can't lie. But I read this in under 24 no, hours. No, because I'm such a slow reader. No, same, but if it's I'm just... If I'm not into a book, it can take me... It's like, like the people on Booktip, they're like, oh yeah, the 140 no, books I no, read this year. No, I've seen people saying like, oh, I read a 250 books this year. Yeah, no, that's How? insane. Do you not have time to do... Like, I have so much... Look, we when have we so get, much school When we get famous, that'll be us. But yeah, anyway, I think... Um, this has a lot, quite a bit of like, um, violence and I guess gory scenes in it, if that's like not your thing. It's not like a lot, but the scenes where like someone gets shot or stabbed or whatever, like it's kind of, it's like graphic-ish. Like, they, they, they don't like shy away from saying that kind of stuff, but it's just, this book was just phenomenal. Like, I think it's- Phenomenal. It, <laughs> shut up. Shut <laughs> no, up. we're putting that in. <laughs> um, it's just, yeah, it was just- incredible basically i don't even know how to describe it but i read the sequel to it as well the sequel wasn't as good but the sequel was it was it was still very good i just i just love victor bell and Eda, eli ever i love them so much i know no like we should go with them for halloween what do they look like right so we'll look at fan art later i'll show Ooh, you yeah. we're doing a video yeah, you, can, you can be eli and i'll be victor even though i'm taller but like everyone draws what? them taller anyway he's not meant to be taller but like you're not taller i'm taller than you no, we're not. Oh, look come on <laughs> I am, look. Look, I'm taller. Like, you no, you are yes, not! I am. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Guys, I'm taller. Look, well, I'm literally taller right now. Um, it's because I'm a man. Right, this is for the romance readers. This is basically a rom-com. But basically, this is a rom-com yeah. and it's the fake dating trip basically, but it's done really well. And it's got this cast of side characters who are like, <laughs> every single one of the side characters is lovable and feels like real people. Like, there's a lot of miscommunication in this one, which I genuine, I generally don't enjoy miscommunication like at all. But I feel like in this one, it just feels like, it feels like it has a reason behind it. You know, it feels, it feels like justified. And I reread this one. I think I've reread it at least five different times. For the audiobook readers, the audiobook for this book is phenomenal. Like I haven't listened to that many audiobooks, but this, the audiobook for this is like genuinely so good. There's a sequel to it as well if you enjoy the first one, which I didn't think was as good as the first one, but it was still like it was still pretty good. Material. Yeah, husband, husband material. Oh. Father materials coming out in October, guys. Is that actually? Yeah. But anyway, and we just we've got to appreciate the all cover, of the. Haven't we? Yeah. Well, it's so aggressively British, and for what? Like it's just set in London. Oh, and show the inside, the chapters. Oh yeah, the chapter covers. Why is this taking me so long? It's there. Yeah, it's like the underground. Oh my god. We need to sort the beam. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> This one could be classed as like a comedy as well because the main character is like really sarcastically funny like <gasps> Like us! That sounds so bad. It's like there's some lines in this. I like genuinely laughed out loud la I genuinely laughed out loud reading this book like it was really well written. It's yeah, I don't know Okay, my favourite book Any of all time. All of these are five stars by the way like all the ones we mentioned there yeah. Oh yeah, they Apart are. Apart from Vicious, seven stars for that one <laughs> Our favourite book. Our favourite book Look at my tabs, guys. Yeah. I've reread this. I've read it twice, and I reread. Wait, get the, the special edition. Okay. So wait, I have to explain oh, this. Okay. So I reread it, and I wanted to annotate it. So I have. You can't really. I haven't annotated it much, but like just a bit. But so because I annotated it, I had to buy a special edition. We both have a special edition. <laughs> this is mine. It's the only book where it's like I've read the paperback, wanted to write all over the paper because I generally, I generally don't enjoy like. Annotated. Right, annotating books. It feels like it kind of feels like a chore. It feels like I'm back at school mm. annotating of mice and men, yeah. and it just like I don't know. I just feel kind of like bad about writing in books. I know like you shouldn't because it's just like it's literally your book. But I bought the special edition so I can go back and write the first one. Same. We both did. Um, but look how nice it is. It's gold. Yeah. yeah. Again, we've kind of we're kind of late to the trend on this one, but look still. At that. It's, it's gorgeous. Beautiful. Like Cersei's really good as well, and Madeline Miller's writing is so. I thought it was good. Madeline. I thought it was Madeline. Why don't we Madeline? Guys, like? Mad's writing is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> she like M her dog. writing is. <laughs> M dog, if you can give me an interview for my EPQ, it'd be greatly appreciated. Her writing is so beautiful. These are all just good quotes. Like literally every single tab is just a good quote. Achilles and Patrick. Can I hold one? But no book has ever made me cry. This oh my god, hard. I it's cry. Like, wait, basically. Daisy was trying to make me read this book for like ages and ages and ages and I was like yeah I'll get to it eventually and then I did and it was just heartbreaking. It was. Right after I finished this my mum came into my room genuinely like I think it was five minutes after I'd finished the book and I was just kind of lying there on this bed in this holiday house like sobbing my eyes out and she was like are you okay and I was like it was a really sad book. It was so sad. <laughs> was like, I think from the, can I say, mm. Look, if you've read the book, you know right. when you start crying. Skip to this timestamp if you don't want like mild spoilers. From where Patroclus dies, I literally cried for the entire rest of the book. Like that's a good like fifty pages. No, yeah, like, even more than that. But it was like since he died, like to the very I end, was I was sobbing. Crying. 
on my private Twitter, I was ranting and ranting and ranting. Like, I'd never been so annoyed at a fictional 12 year old. Do you know his son? Oh, when his God, son comes in, I, he made me so angry. Like, I've never been more angry at like a fictional character <laughs> than I was in that moment. Fuck off. Like, no, he wasn't as bad. He was bad. Too. He wasn't as bad as Ferris. He Harry. killed his daughter. Yeah, but like, that was bad. But like, <laughs> By that point, I was... The Greeks were crazy, guys. They were fucking crazy. The Greeks? Ooh. The ancient ones, not the new ones. <laughs> <laughs> Hi to all our Greek viewers. Hey. Anyway, amazing. Read. Yeah. Read. Best thing ever. Achilles and Patrick was... Oh. <laughs> it does do hot. Oh my god, we can go as them for Halloween. <laughs> no, because what would we wear? <laughs> just the bed sheet. Finally. We just... Have we haven't even been reading out the titles. Guys, you can read. If you're reading books, you can read. Guys, just one minute for the art, please. So this was one of the ones that I convinced Daisy to read. We're so good yeah. at shit. I just like brushed the hair behind you. Yeah. <laughs> right. So basically, I can't lie to you. I did only pick up this book because I thought it looked no, really pretty. Because we were pretty. in Waterstones together after. It was on like a friend thing. Before it was on Results Day for our exams. Our GCSEs. I just got like a shitload of money for my results. Oh, same. We got so yeah. much. Anyway. No, but anyway. Um, <laughs> And then I saw this like really pretty book on this table in Waterstones and I was like, wait. I did just pick up this book because it's so pretty. Like there's art, the art no, in it. No, it's amazing. It's, it's, it's so good. It's so good. But and as you read it, you can figure out which of the characters Yeah, I, I like to figure art. out who, who is who because like, it doesn't actually tell you at first. But then like no. the more you get to know the characters, like when, the more you know. Yeah, it's like, you can figure yeah. it out. No, because this book is one for the one for the girlies who like um, getting details of things. And then like when you go back later and read them, you're like, oh my God, that has a whole other level to it. Like mm, yeah. It makes you feel like you're smart reading it, if that makes sense. Like. <laughs> It makes yeah, you feel like you're no, unraveling the mysteries. It's, it's really good, but the, the writing in this is no, like, but the characters, so beautiful. Like, the characters' interactions with each other are so good. Yeah. Like, their banter and stuff. Like, Fox. Fox <gasps> and Bran. No, it's Fox. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> like... <laughs> Look, Fox, if, if, Bran, if Bran's ever treating you wrong, like... My number. Yeah, come to me, guys. <laughs> no, just, just text me, text me. Fox and Maura, just... We're both single and ready to mingle. <laughs> are we, though? Unless... <laughs> But yeah, the character, each character in this was just like no, so well written. Characters. Like every single one of them is interesting. I think if you don't like kind of things that are kind of like ambiguous, if you don't you like, just want like an easy read. Don't if go you do, to this. yeah, if you want an easy read, this probably isn't the book for you. But if you like want a book that's kind of like really also, unique and has like an interesting cast of characters, but kind of like makes you think um as well as ha like so it's got a great storyline like there's a whole section of this book that focuses around this thing that you don't actually know no yeah exactly it doesn't what explain it like what the it, it leaves a lot to up to the imagination this but isn't i think a spoiler, it's really well done it literally says in the blurb but like there's this game oh like, yeah an immortal game and it never really explains like properly what it is so if you don't like not knowing the answer to everything then it yeah might not be if you just want like an easy read where it's like the story's all laid out and like you can just follow along then like any of the other books we've listed mm, the song of achilles no no song of achilles like bear the, tap like Bear Town boyfriend material, they're just kind of like a easy good ghost to murder is easy as well. Yeah, it's a bit more complex. Yeah, it's a bit more complex. But the characters, but it's guys, still read it for the right. Oh, it's so, so worth it. Again. Do we have to talk about how pretty it is again? Oh, the edition I bought's got little end papers. Yeah, I was like... so annoyed. I ordered it online from Waterstones, and it didn't have the character, the, the skulls on the side. The first thing yeah. I did when I got it was open it, see if the art said. <laughs> is that the last one? Yeah, it's the last one. Okay. Okay, so I have two anticipated reads that I think might be on my top, and that's In Memoriam by Alice Wynn, which is. I am reading next. It's a historical fiction. Uh, at the moment I'm reading A Housemaid's Secret, the second one, and then I'm going to read In Memoriam, and I think I will really like that based on the reviews and the blurb. And then also The Book Thief. My dad's read that and I've seen so many good things online. But my TBR guys is like 30 plus books, like my <laughs> physical one on my shelf. I'm staring at them right now. My physical one's only it's like bad. eight, but like my Goodreads one, we don't talk about that. I but think mine's 40 yeah. on my Goodreads and I have 30 look like staring at me right now hope you enjoyed and since the cats left halfway through and you watched all the way to the end you obviously liked something about it so and us yeah <laughs> so consider subscribing we'll be try to upload weekly from now on and leave a like although that if might you not us or the cats yeah we have busy lives busy schedules but yeah, if you've read any of the books we talked about today, let us know what you comments. what you thought. I'd like, especially like to know if you disagreed because like that's interesting. That that is interesting. We tried making an Instagram and we got banned three times. Three times. We had Kitlet shit, which was original. Kitlet in the cockpit. Kitlet tits. Kitlet wankers. <laughs> um, and then we got IP banned, but it's fine now. So you should go follow us. Let's follow us yeah. on at Kitlet dot in no at Kitlet dot. In dot the dot See, this is why I need to change it because it's so no, much No, it's not. It's good. Guys, should we Let be... us know in the comments. Let us know. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, this is our YouTube channel. Okay. Oh, Wait, that was quite good. <laughs>
Thank you for watching this video. You sound like Mr. Wild. Yeah. That was a fox tomorrow, that one was for you. Wow. <laughs> Think <cozy. laughs> we, <need to> we <laughs> better have shippers in the comments. Yeah. We got matching dinosaurs. Yeah, we did get matching dinosaurs. <laughs> Bye guys. Oh my god, no, Victor Vale. <laughs> it's gonna be so cringe, I can't.